Hi, my name is Blaine Van, and I'm instructor for the Center of Employment Training in Durham, North Carolina. Next, you're about to hear a powerful testimony from one of our students. All right, well, my name is Kim Cousins. I started at CET with the hopes of getting a job, and I got me a job. Amen. <laughs> but no, nah, real talk, though, just stick with it because, like, that's my word. If it won't for dinner, I was going to quit. Like, I was going to be like, man all the changes they kept on doing. But with me, my thing was, they the ones that kept me motivated, like for real, for real. I ain't wait on nobody to hook me up with no interview, no nothing like that. Like from the time I started TET, that's when I was still looking for a job type job. Like, but I lucked up and God is good because I was able to get a job where I'm an HVAC and plumber and I'm also training under somebody that's a master plumber and he's like the top, like he has all his certifications and everything. He's an inspector, all that, con private contractor, everything. So whatever I'm doing under him, I'm basically getting time for that too, also. So basically, I get paid, I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> and I get paid time and a half also. So it's like, and I'm a PM tech, so think about it. I get overtime every day, you know what I'm saying? And then also, me, I'm a seller. I told you. I told you. Phone, all that, and they paying for me to get my certification. The prime example right now is out the eight right. Well, I'm getting paid right now just to be right here. Just because I said I was coming to get the suit and coming to holler at y'all, but because it's dealing with what I went to school for. Too. And then they love me so much because, like, for real, for real, like, I don't even consider him my boss. Like, he's my mentor. Like, he just tell me whatever to do. Like, for real, for real, when Mr. Van was right and Mr. Lawrence was right, when somebody tell you to do something on the job, like, they expect you to do it. They don't expect you to be like, uh, uh. No, if you don't know what something is, you need to go ahead and ask. Because, for real, for real, like, the first job I had, what, that, that piece of equipment, that four-ton equipment, it was about worth $4,000. You don't want to mess up no money, no money you feel me? Because that's on you. So it's always good to ask questions and on top of that, you always try to be aware of that part. Like, yeah, I used to smoke blood and all that stuff, but for real, for real, I don't even care about that. Like, I don't even smoke no nothing, because for real, you don't want to mess up nothing. You don't want to, like, once somebody gives you this opportunity, like, I'm telling you, you're going to leave everything alone. You're going to walk around happy. Like, that's my word. Like, I'm so happy, and I thank God every day. Like, all I can say is stick with it. You know, I work for Boyd City Plumbing and HVAC. They talk about so I might be the only black female HVAC plumber in the triangle. Like, come on. Ain't that awesome? Yesterday, I was out there at the Southern Research and Development. Out there, I got I to gotta leave my phone out in the car like a, a fella. Somebody that broke into people's houses, all that much. And research and development, topics for young people. When I say they smart as hell, like they, you know, I ain't gonna talk about what they do in there, but anyway, I'm standing by a ladder and I'm having to just start talking to this lady. She having to be the, the head person of facility maintenance there. And I got us a contract to take all the equipment out, all the HVAC units in there, put in whole new models. So do you know how much that contract is? Mm -hmm. Like, and that was just off me just talking okay. to her. You know, I, mean, I didn't know who she was, you know. And it's also good to know what you're talking about. Don't ever talk about something you do not know. Because I'm telling you, they will put you on your ass. Because they don't care if you're a woman or nothing. No white men. <laughs> they gonna talk to you just like how, like, you're supposed to know what you're talking about. Like, they don't want you lying like that. Shit's cut with nothing. That's all they do is cut. <laughs> they cool. Like, that's what type of spirit you want right now. Oh, no, just I'm so happy. Hey, Kim, tell them about your interview. Oh, my interview, yeah. What's crazy is I had just left there up here, matter of fact, and we did a whole little list of how we were going to go about making a job, and I was so frustrated. I kept on going to interviews, and people kept on telling me that I should have went to school for something else. Like, I was so frustrated. I was like, man, I ain't going to get to school for something else. I just told them everything I did in here. Like, I ain't tell them no extra no nothing. Just kept it, kept it like how they said it, and then we supposed to go. 
then once they turn this conversation to like personal, all that stuff, then yeah, I'm gonna talk like that. But when I, he was like, when he said, he said, call him back in two weeks, that's how long that's gonna give me to get my uh, license or whatever. So by the time I left and walked to the uh, bus stop, he, asked, he called me and asked me where I keep on to turn around. And I was like, oh, no. And he told me that I was gonna turn around and turn back. And he was like, yeah, you believe in God? And I was like, yeah. I believe in God, and he was like, well, we're going to give you a chance, mm -hmm. and you suck hard. Like, bro, you know how I do that, Bill? Like, I, I'm crying right now because I'm happy, yo. Like, do you know how good it feels to, like, how your grandma, how your mom call you every day? Everybody's just so happy for me. And I'm happy for myself because y'all know who I was. Like, bro, like, I'm a first lady of Lakewood Crips, like, and I'm up here working with these people, you feel me? Like, fuck all this shit, like, for real. Like, I'm just so happy and I thank God, and I'm glad that God made me wake up that day that I woke up and started to see some life. Cause for real, that's when, that's when everything changed. Everything just positive. Like, I don't have time for all the rest of this stuff, man. I really don't. And I guess I'm telling you, God needs help. Cause I'm telling you, God needs help. Cause I'm telling you, God needs help. Cause I'm telling you, God needs help. Y'all know how to find me. I even help y'all, like, for real. Because I feel like, if y'all still call me right now, like, they out there. It's just, honestly, I feel like it's with the field that we in, we just got to keep going. Because you got to meet somebody that's going to be able to work with you every day. Because whoever you start with, they're going to be like the next one. Next year. So I think that's why it's kind of hard to get started in this field. But once you do, they're not going to let you go. Like, they don't want to go and hire somebody else. They don't show you all this shit. They ain't about to do that. So, I don't know. I'm blessed. Thank you. Amen. We're proud of you, sir. We're proud of you. We are proud of you. CET can change your life just like it changed the life of Miss Kim. If you are struggling about what you want to do in your life or trying to find uh, your place in today's work market, if you want to expand your opportunities, if you want to go farther than you are now, come to CET because our mission is your success.